And welcome to game number 12 of this team. Probably looking at a loss now. Hopefully won't take any permanent cas. Oh, well, it's game number 13. Hopefully won't, won't take permanent cas. We'll probably lose. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off the mic and probably not say anything because, you know, I just feel, I feel absolutely terrible at the moment. So um, it's not so much tryharding as just... I just can't be, I can't, not well enough to stream, but I'll, I've got to grind the games out to qualify, so there you go, I'm 100% I'm committed. Nearly conceded by accident, that would have been a great start, wouldn't it? At least I don't have that shithead minus movement guy anymore. Have to give him a block no warrior to blitz, unfortunately. will actually save. Dirty player, semi protected, wrestlers on the line, blockers are blitzable, better warriors behind. Movement can go either side, mighty blow the other side of the claw guy.
Well, pretty pretty awesome turn, wasn't it? Really, he failed. Fit. Didn't remove every anybody. Barely got a knockdown. One, two, three. He's not in range to blitz apart from him. So I guess that's what'll happen. Go there, protect me a bit. Now that protect him a bit. <laughs> it's like an advanced elf screen. <laughs>
rolling like Luther. <laughs> I thought that dodge was worth it there to not only protect the claw but also protect the mighty blow guy. Having said that, I think the mighty blow guy wants to go down here to um, to do stuff. Hard for him to get a hit on him, isn't it? Hello VIP Hesse and yeah, sorry I'm not I'm trying to not look at chat and stuff because yeah, I'm in a I'm in a feeling terrible um kind of situation. But yeah, Ducky's Ducky's spot on, yeah. There you go. Ducky obviously top top necro coach on the um on the channel ladder, so I have committed quite a lot down here, but he's blitzing fucking rotters every turn, isn't he? Which is which is fine for me. Out positioning him so far, but then it is easier on defense to be able to do that, isn't it? Than offense. There you go. Dirty dingo. Elf screen, oh yeah.
Excellent. Sent off for a stun, as it should be. Dirty fucking dingo. His blocks have been pretty shit, but he's been blocking my worst players every turn, hasn't he? So, but yeah, I've, I've been very lucky so far with his blocks, with Mighty Blow, yeah, absolutely. Ah, uh, yeah, the reason that the I'd fucking turned down the game sound for um fucking super meat boy that's why they that's why the game sound is down but it should be okay oh i could have maybe put the pressure on the ball that turn out too late Piss now. Okay, is that muted? No, it's not. What the fuck? It's using the wrong fucking microphone. I've been thinking I was muted and I fucking haven't been. Oh god. Right, is this working? No. What the fuck? For some reason, it's not picking up the um my proper micro. Ah, here we are. Right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right. Good. Now, now the microphone's working. That's good. Sorry about the sound. If the sound was bad before, then because now I've got the right microphone. Now I guess I haven't got time for a piss this turn, so I'll have to go next turn. The record is nine two one fish for fat. He could go for a handoff bull centaur player, couldn't he? But um, I don't know. Blitzing my worst player without even block, that's pretty good, isn't it? Dirty dingo. I nearly based this guy with these two, but I thought then it'd be too easy for him to switch sides. I was kind of scared of him switching sides. Whereas now I should be able to slam into him and um, cut him off, hopefully.
Safe moves first. Now a GFI to two dice block is a bit greedy, isn't it? But there you go. It is with Claw Mighty Blow. With a stun, I can move him in. He does have guard. I could almost go for this one dicer. It's only bad in a skull. It's got potentially the big payoff. Push. How bad is a push, actually? If you potatoes, I've still got this guy and this guy to get him. So, yeah, I don't think you can potatoes. I think I'll do this one day. <laughs> that was a good one dicer. Right, now I'll have a piss then for this minute and 20 seconds. I was a fucking legend. A fucking legend! Right, that was good. The bad thing is it gave him more time to think on like a tricky turn. Just open up with a one dice, pal. Fair enough. He didn't have much else apart from that one dice. But it was a really big payoff if he didn't power him having that guard around, I thought. Shit.
only I hadn't done the safe moves first, eh? Could have gone there, one, two. I guess he would have just stayed here to avoid the bull. Breakaway touchdown, very unlikely against the bulls. I don't like this play. Dodging out an armor 7 guy and making two GFIs just to get two dice blocked. I think he deserved to be punished with that KO. He's actually a scoring threat, isn't he? The agility one. <laughs> the only possible scoring threat I have. Crazily. I'd really like to blitz this guy, obviously, with him. Thing is if he fucks off I'm down I'm down a guy. He's got one turn left, he's the well, is he in scoring range? No. So He's the only one in scoring range. I could blitz him with just mighty blow. Rather than having a GFI to hit him with claw. Really got to get him down though. They could both run around so I could chain 
chin him away for the pick up and pass. Is he in range? No. So I think seeing as he's only got one scoring threat, I could go for the blitz on him first. The GFI's got great payoff, obviously. But on the other hand, it can fail. And I really want him down. Should have pushed him to here so I could get two assists and hit the claw guy. That's a shame. Well, you can call it a shame, you can call it fucking bad. Because obviously one assist isn't good because he's got guard there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, pass. Run away. Oh wow, <laughs> I've had the rolls this game, <laughs> to be fair, to be fair I've fucking had the rolls this game, holy shit. Get your canoring threat, great advice. I could have done, but I mean, look, the chance of me scoring so low, isn't it? His agility won. The scoring chance would have been so low that I thought it was better just to, um, you know, base his guard to stop him coming in to assist this and stuff. Maybe I should have one diced him. But still, the choice have been pretty banged on, haven't they? Pretty banged on. A G1 Kanoran threat. It, but he's still there, and I can also. Hand off to him and then, or pass to him, then he can hand off to him and stuff. So. Mm, I've only got 12 players, but it'd be good to do a foul, wouldn't it? A gang foul. I, I wish my dirty player wasn't out. If this dirty player hadn't been KO'd, I'd have totally done a gang dirty player foul on the last turn. It does make a great change from being down, man. I did give up this claw block, though, didn't I? I actually, him being wrestled is probably good for him because it saves the claw retaliation. Hello, VIP Ravenpaw. Long time no see. Right, let's go. can do some kind of long pass up to him they can all block people he can blitz him 
Alright, let's go. I'll make the make the GFI for the blitz this time. Nice go for the long pass, why not? Five and a five. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> it was inaccurate, but he still got it. Holy shit. Holy shit, that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Stayed out. Those two stayed out. Oh, boo. Pull back. What was the, um, it was inaccurate, and then he rolled a two on the catch. So the, the agility one didn't cost us in the end. Almost, yeah. So 11 players, and he's got three, six, nine. That's good, isn't it? Can't protect his bulls. I don't think I'm gonna GFI to bull blitz, I'll just I'll just wait on getting them. Yes, yeah, Sledger, I d I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's um hopefully it's the admin bods at Twitch working on, on getting me partnered, but um yeah, I don't know what it is at the moment. I've had I've had the sickest dice this game, haven't I? Holy shit. Holy shit.
What the fuck is that Blitzmania thing? The more, the more fucking games you played, the bigger chance you had, and it was just some guy playing games with his kids. So like, might not have even played. That sounds like the worst thing ever. Lolling because he failed a GFI with a bow. Wow, what you expect? What you expect, mate? I can't remember a time I passed a GFI with a bow. So if I had just said that I had played 200 games with Senai and beaten her every time. If I had just said that, I would have won. <laughs> that sounds like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I'd rather blitz him because he's got a mighty blow. But then he's 75% knockdown instead of 55, isn't it? Just nothing. <laughs> Gee, if I am feeling this not for us. <laughs> But I mean, he played his he played his sons at home. He didn't play in like games. If he had to play in games workshops, and someone had played, like someone had just gone to a games workshop and played all day versus random people in the store, that's fair enough. But he's just saying that he's beat his kids. That's like that's won him the Blitzmania thing. He's got a trophy because he's he's beaten his kids in imaginary games. The fuck is that? This is the craziest thing I've ever read in my life. Fuck is Blitzmania? Jesus Christ, that sounds the worst thing ever. Say you've played some games and win a trophy. Holy shit. Alright. I guess just blitz with him and then move everyone up. Just gotta make it so that the wrestlers are hit, haven't I? The um the crap players are not the good players. Is the essential thing at this point. I think he's given up by the looks of it. Would have been a kill with blow of might, yeah. It was literally just three points for a win. It's the most stupid thing I've seen in my life. <laughs> like, it's actually... It's actually the most stupid thing I've ever seen in my life. If they were playing them in Games Workshops, then fair enough, you know? But if he's playing them at home, then it's just ridiculous.
I'd rather get points on, on him, wouldn't I? This gets him up too. Do I, do I go for a Nurgle Warrior handoff? That's the question. To this guy. Or a Pestigo handoff. He does have movement nine bulls. This is the thing. Although it looks like he's fucking given up. He does actually have movement nine bulls. Which, you know, you underestimate at your peril. Like, you've got to think that your bulls are movement six, but your opponent's bulls are movement nine, haven't you? That's, that's the rules for bulls. He got a trophy. And up to the agility one for the level. Yeah, so like that's crazy. Because actually, right, Senai plays, a dad plays, a brother plays as like tried it. So we could have just had a four person league that, you know, I could have just played a hundred, um, we could have played a hundred games and I would have won most of them, or two hundred games, or whoever lied the most, as you say, yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's just stupid. <laughs> it's just stupid. Some people probably lied and, like, thought no one will play more than 30 games. And then he was, like, 150. Maybe he was lowballing it with 150. Oh, man. <laughs> you bet won 19 what? <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? I can't, still can't believe that that was actually a thing. Holy shit, just report your games. Oh, man. He's definitely given up now, hasn't he? I mean, it's so small, the chance of not scoring if I go for the Pestigo handoffs. It would be a level on the agility one. I could put everyone over here. I'm not going to go for the 2 0, no, because it just doesn't achieve anything, does it? 3, 4, 5, 6. I mean, he's still got bulls, he could just still potato. And and I could double skull like, like like that like that game where I just needed to you know two dice get a push to surface guy and then failed. I don't really want to blitz up here because it means he built blitz back and foul. Maybe go there and foul him. Maybe just run away with everybody. It's looking very tempting, tempting to hand off to the the new Pestigo. It's not guaranteed, though, is it? That's the thing, Hargon. It's not guaranteed. If it was guaranteed, I would. But it's it's really not guaranteed. That's the that's the sad thing. that hand off to that beast pen or not. I mean it's what one in nine, one in twenty seven, one in I don't know, lots, and then one in three. So I mean I'd almost certainly get it to him. I 
I think I'll go for the handoff to him. No, it's it's fucked for everybody, Brando. It's it's fucked for everyone for some reason. Hopefully, it's because Twitch are working on making me a partner. See now, now he's come back. Now he's coming over here, the dirty dingo. You can never trust these people who give up, can you? Nope, double one. Banged on. Actually, probably would have been better to score on this guy to get him closer to the claw, wouldn't it? Can he GFI to hit him? Yeah, he can. Mm, but he's got to be able to GFI one of them. Foul to avoid rocks. Seems good. Good. Yeah, I've got I've got no idea what it is. <laughs> he's had some bad luck with GFIs as well as as well as the brutal bangings he's taken. Maybe I shouldn't have fouled with the claw mighty blow guy. Yeah. Would have been really nice to blitz him, blitz him with mighty blow claw. There's no way I'm gonna score before it's time. I could have counted squares and shit and worked out the best possible way to protect everybody, but it seemed good enough to me. If he makes this, I'll feel bad. 
I think that would have been a pretty, a pretty unlucky touchdown to not score. It would have been good for the Reddits though, wouldn't it? Um, he can assist here. Ooh, it better, better to hit him, isn't it, really? But I can't make it three dice. More as I can on this dirty dingo. GG. Didn't die, that's good. Lucky game. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'll go for a three dice block. Well, what's the chance? It's something like four, one in forty six thousand, not two. I mean, I, I don't know if you if you saw any of Bucky's games in the World Cup, um, but just running unprotected into your opponent's half, or potatoing as it is known, is a shockingly effective tactic. It's like, it's so easy to, to quad skull or whatever. I couldn't have three diced the ball there. I think it was right. Three, four, five, six, seven. He had seven players. He could score an offense with seven players. It's not. It's not that bad. You know, when you've got kind of movement nine, it's not that bad. He, he would have had a shot of scoring. I think going for the 2 0 is definitely 100% a higher risk. <laughs> I could easily be left with having to make a GFI to hit him or, you know, just a two dice with, what, 75%, then another one. Nah, he could he could have easily scored, man. It's easy. He's, he's on seven players. Look, he could have been on eight players. He could have been on eight players. Versus, fair enough, I wouldn't have made that foul. Um, 8 versus 11? People can fucking score with 8 players. It's not, it's not crazy. Thank you, Pedro Jack. <laughs> now that I played quite well, but obviously I got I got crazy dice in the end. And just initially, not not t not going down players on turn one was pretty nice, wasn't it? Him getting hit with the mighty blows and the claws on turn one. There was nothing I could do to stop that. And then, um, but I mean, I was limiting his blitzers to only rotters. And stuff. Yeah, it's, ob it's it's obviously easier to play well when you have even men or a man advantage, isn't it? Keep that. 
<laughs> it was only I only got two more AV breaks than him. Isn't that crazy? Yet, yet he sustained five Kaz and four KOs from his eleven armor breaks. That's unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable. He <laughs> made twenty eight blocks, got eleven AV. Someone with claw mighty blow. But that's that is absolutely crazy. Yeah, the the armor breaks weren't even crazy. Only eleven armor breaks. It was just the injury rolls. Five Kaz, four KOs. Unbelievable. Some with some with thick skull. GG Mori and Dummer. Um yeah, some just crazy dice. There you go. So I mean I do I do admit it when I get lucky. That was obviously a very, very lucky game. What could this guy get then? Wrestle Tackle Claw <laughs> Dirty player is his second skill. Fend. Wrestle Fend. Seeing as he's going on the line, Wrestle Fen seems okay. It's kind of good against Claw Pommers. Stick the Wrestle Fen guy on the Claw Pom guy. If he'd been blocked, I'd maybe go block Claw. Just to give me... I could even go Claw on him just for an extra thing against Dwarves. You know, like, Dwarves are just fucking horrible for me. At this TV with what I've got. Well, like those Chaos Dwarves. I only had the one Claw guy to even have a chance, didn't I? I could maybe give claw to that guy. I think I'll think about it. Um, <laughs> oh, dirty dingo, Crumsley. <laughs> right. Yeah. 10-2-1. Oh, that's, that's a great record, isn't it, for Nurgle? Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.